receive the support from this flood. You have a massive flood. The flood has created contamination of water and soil. Contaminated heavy beyond the use. Go back to the reports and the teachings of the Keshe Foundation Ghana. Very simple process. Produce as much as you can any of the four ganses. Copper oxide, zinc, CO2, CH3, and you need the amino acid. The instruction is make 100 milliliter, if you can, of all the ganses in two bottles. In one bottle, you put only CUO gans. You write a clear instruction for people what to do, and that is on the receipts of the first bottle. They mix. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Kesh. We're getting a lot of feedback through the fans there. It's a really okay. loud rumbling um, coming through. Maybe an adjustment of the microphone or adjustment of the fans. Maybe you no need problem. to uh, remove your coat or something to cool down. That might help. No problem. Okay, thank you. Put it on the top one a second. It's okay. Put it on the first one. Yeah, press it there. Yeah. It's okay. We are at 37, 35, 38 degrees heat, uh, summer heat in south of Italy. You do not bother about anything else. You produce the CUO, CO2, the green stuff or the brown stuff, which is copper. You put it in the small jars. Don't look for anything. Any drinking bottle like this is sufficient. Put it in there, because you have these in masses. You don't need to look for anything special. Put the CO2 with the water in it, and put a label on it, how to use it. They take any water from contaminated water, anywhere they want to be. You allow them, you only fill about one third of this bottle with the gans and you leave the rest to be filled up with the plain water or just the gans, they can add the river water or add pure water to it, wherever they find it, and add this water on top of the gans into the contaminated water of the river. It has to be one liter per 100 liter of contaminated water. You need about a liter of the gans water, what is above in this contaminated water. What you will see is the following. You all have seen. The 100 liter will give you something like 10 liter of residual with a clean drinking water. This 90 liter is more or less whatever um, you have here. Mr. Cash, we can't see that color at all, and it's completely it transparent on the uh, board okay. here. I go another one. So you have the water. No, no, don't change the lights. It's just, uh, it's better, it doesn't matter, because then it goes dark. So you have the 10 liter plus 100. All you need to do, take the top. Even go for 50% of it. This water is absolutely pure. You can drink it. Any germs, any bacteria, any sediment is out of the water. Make sure you use copper oxide. Copper oxide is the only one which at the moment can give you the, what I call the energy to transfer and clean the water out. This 50 liter, whatever, is your drinking water, is usable water, non-contaminated, no salt, 
nothing else. It's pure drinking. Now, you produce a second bottle. Another bottle, what you need to add in this bottle is CO2 plus CH3 plus zinc oxide plus Mr. Cohen. Sorry about it. It's not a Jewish one. It's generous. It gives totality. CO2 is still decontamination, but if any residual left in that water, you need a liter of the CO2, this mixture, with a liter or a half a liter of the clean water. So you take from the clean water, you add half a liter of it to the mixture, you get yourself the water which comes out here. You never use, and you, when, you're, when you write the manual, you never tell them to touch the residual. Only play with the water. The CO2 will give you the establishment of part of the energy you need. This will cover you for most of the energy you need. This is needed in these conditions because most of the people get in touch with these conditions. They get emotionally disturbed and make mistakes and continues for years. By adding the zinc oxide, you bring stability to emotion and they think correct. So you feed the physicality and you feed the emotion. You'll find people will not behave out of order. They'll find the solution in peace with themselves and the condition they are in. And you add amino acid that it connects with their body. In the point of infection, damages, anything else on the skin, cuts and bruises, deep cuts, there are certain procedures, you write the manual, very simple. In the case of infection on the skin or the cuts, they use, again, the Gans water. You're talking about the plasma. CuO plus CO2. This gets rid of most of infections if there is on the skin. If you increase, if it's a deep cut, if it's a need for internal conditions, for damages to the organs or whatever, below the neck. Here you go 50-50. In the condition of the damages, very deep cut, you have to change the composition. You do a CuO, CO2, plus a zinc oxide, plus the amino acid. Ratio, because it's physical, five, three, one, and one. I'll correct this one that you understand exactly what it is. So this is needed. You do the repair in the muscle tissue. You do the connection and communication for the repair. Each tissue is not only physical, it has the zinc, which is the emotion. And that's where that finger sign came from, physicality and emotion. And the stupid presidents use it without understanding it. You've been like all a clown for long enough. So five, Three, one, one. 
So if you make five drops, three drops, one drop and one drop, you speed up the process of the healing of tissue muscles. In a position of the broken bone, which creates, if you understand the process of the healing of the bone, bone can be healed rapidly at a point of breakage and bleeding. Your bone has a skin that when it breaks, it creates inflammation, which brings the limbs to support and brings calcium in emergency to come. So if you have a broken bone, you can instruct them very simply, or you can add a small sachet of They mix the water of calcium oxide to the above mixture in the cages of heavy damage. You reduce the CO2, let's do it that you understand it correctly. For the bone damage, you use CO2, you use copper oxide, you use CH3, you use amino acid, and you use calcium oxide from any bone. Some of the vegetation are good at it. In the Chinese community, you know what is sitting on that side for the calcium to bring. Very quickly, you can produce it. You can bring it from the ashes of the bone. If you burn the bone, you can collect it very quickly. Here, the combination is four, even three drops, two drops, one or two, one and one. Here, you produce a muscle tissue and a bone tissue at the same time for rapid repair. In the cases of head injury, where you have your citizens with a head injury, especially brain damage, the condition changes totally. You make, again, the same thing. CO2 plus calcium oxide plus zinc oxide. These are in the cases of brain injury. So if you, from the beginning, when you're producing it, even give them four bottles, and in each bottle add the amino acid of the water you created it into the bottle, the condition is perfect. In these conditions, you go three, three, and four. You need the calcium oxide because the brain cells establish themselves from the calcium of the skull, and without it, you can't have a brain cell. It is important. So you look at the injuries, this is what you need to do. In a coming time, later on in teachings of today, we bring different sections of the Keshe Foundation who've been working in the background to show you a new way of technology development, which you've been waiting for, which you can use in transportation and even transmutation and production of the energy to deliver these directly locally, but you have to make the systems. So we recapture. Try to make the ganses copper oxide, zinc oxide, CH3, Cu, CaCO2, which is a calcium, and every time you make these oxides, when you make these ganses, just as you've seen, you collect a little bit of amino acid on the top. Just tip your thing, whatever you have, and add its amino acid to its gans in the water. It will stay, it will absorb, it become part of it, just stir it in it. Your gans is collected at the bottom. When you collect the gans, you put it in the bottle, add a tip into the gans. You have transferred enough 
amino acid of the same, because you need these to be able to connect to the injuries when it needs to be repairing. So what you do, you've seen the combination. Heavy cuts, you do, then you add the emotion and the linkage, which is there. The ratio is very clear. You have brain injury, bone injury, everything, rapid growth and rapid changes.